With a population of over 20,000, Pelham, Alabama is where the Baltimore Stars author John Green and Clemson head football coach Dallas Weenie called home well before they reached their levels of stardom. Hello, my name is Sean Johnson and I also grew up in the heart of Pelham, just on the outskirts of Birmingham. I'd like to tell you a little bit about my own life today. I'd like to talk about my hometown. I'd like to talk about my post-secondary education at Lynn University, and I'd also like to discuss my future goals after graduation. As far as Pelham, it's a really star-studded community. Interestingly enough, a lot of people would agree that it's one of the most notable communities in the entire state of Alabama. A lot of that can be contributed to the football program. Dabo and others really led the program under this spearheaded movement towards offensive attacking and everything that brought their program to overnight success, seemingly. Eventually that diminished, as do most things, but the prevailing result was this community-like atmosphere that has been going on for the past 20 years at least. And that's something I've really come to appreciate about Pelham. Speaking of a community-like atmosphere, it's really something to look at Lynn University as well, an environment where you don't really get that atmosphere. But at Lynn you do, especially in the college atmosphere. And within the College of International Communication, it's been something interesting to see where my mother and I, we came to visit, and Lynn was definitely not one of the most affordable colleges. However, we came, we saw the personal attention that was provided to students, and we fell in love, basically. Two years later, under the tutorship of Professor Powers, I've excelled, and I've now become the editor-in-chief of the student newspaper, iPulse. As far as future goals, I've always been rather focused on what I wanted to do. I knew I loved sports, but I didn't really know what to do with it. And then I ran into writing, and I made the connection. I wanted to be a sports writer. Now, there's a few different aspects of that. There's sports writing, there's sports broadcasting, there's also sports radio. And I'd love to be a, the host of a sports radio show connected with Fox or NBC. However, I've also seen that there are countless other opportunities within the media industry, whether it's business or any other fields. I've written pieces for the Palm Beach Post regarding business. So, who knows? Maybe I'll go into another field, but sports, sports media would definitely be one direction I'd love to go. Look at Davo and John. I'm sure none of their friends or family really expected them to reach such levels of notoriety. However, with my background and my experiences at Lynn, I feel I'll be prepared to reach similar levels of notoriety. Not necessarily to those levels, but in the media industry, reaching levels of success that people, people of Pelham do. You know, we've talked a lot about myself today, but I feel like there's a lot left to be written about my story. With the ever-changing media industry and the relentless volatility of life, there's a lot of exciting left, outside, like exciting moments left in my life. However, I do encourage you, please savor the moment, relish in your memories, and protect the present before we get way too ahead of ourselves. Thank you very much.